from the upcoming so lovely to meet you I'm Peter Thank can you. you give us a brief introduction then to last Christmas and your role yeah well uh, I'm playing the, they were looking for a tall charming Dane uh, and uh, my agency called Emma Thompson is looking for a tall Dane and I made this casting uh, video and they called me back they love you they you are charming and you're tall and uh, I was so uh, I was so happy to get this part because uh, I've always al always admired Emma Thompson. But you know, one thing you see people in in a film or in a movie, you never know how they are in reality. So I was prepared when I came here. Nobody will talk to me because I maybe be famous in Scandinavia and Germany, but I've never made a movie in UK. But the first day I was sitting in the makeup in Covent Garden. It was my first shooting day. And was prepared. Nobody will say hello. But then the the door went up, and in comes Emma Thompson. Peter Birkin, we love you. And I what? Uh, you know, imagine you have your first day in your new job, and the boss comes in and says, "We love you. You you get a good employee. You'll do your best." And you know it. And that 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 how it was in this film. So much positive energy that our director Paul Feig. For every time I did a shoot or I made a take, it came out, I love what you're doing. It's so fantastic, Peter. Thank you. Thank you for your talent. Could you maybe change a little bit? You know, it's, it, it made me better and better for, for the, from the first day. And Emilia Clark was so nice and so full of positive energy. And I'm so happy to work with Michelle Yeoh. She, we have this little very quick love story. And it's a little absurd, our scenes. But it was so nice doing it because I had some ideas and Paul Feig loved them and Michelle just took them and we went on and had this staring moments, you know. And I believe you can fall in love in 30 seconds. I believe in that. Um, what do you think it is about Christmas movies that people just love so much? It's just something, you know, like pure rom-com territory. Like, why do we always want to come back to them? Well, Christmas movies, I think all of us have our favorite Christmas movies, like Love Actually or whatever it is. And, and, and Christmas is also a time where people get together with their family or with their best friends. And, and for me, Christmas is always a time to sit down and think over how did the year go and what do I want to change next year. And, and life is all about being together with people, nice people. If you get sick and you have nice people around you, you will get, you will get well very fast. So it's so important that you take care of your good friends, take care of your family, and my family and my friends means a lot to me. So for me, Christmas is, is it's a very important uh, time of year and and a, a time also sensitive, and uh, that's why people also sometimes. They have a lot of uh, expectations to Christmas, so slow, low down the expectations. Just try to be there and be happy and joy. Don't, 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 don't expect that people shall give you a lot of love or a lot of big Christmas presents because then you always get sad. Um, no, lower the expectations, then it will go well. And what about having the music of George Michael with this blessing? I think before I love we George Michael. I've always loved George Michael. So when I heard. He was. Uh, it's the music was written from him, and 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 I have been dance. I love dancing to George. I'm a dancer. I love to dance. So I have been on the dance floor for many many years to George Michael. So when I heard he's a part of this story, and uh, it's it's it just makes this film even uh, more beautiful and more. And hearing the story from Emma, how they sat together and. They wanted to make a movie and then he sadly died. I miss him so much. It's, it's so sad when our big talents disappear. Um, but but he's in our heart and he will be so much in our heart tonight. So it, I'm so privileged and so honored to be here. Oh, amazing. Well, thanks so much for all that. Lovely to meet you. Thank nice you.